All right, it's going to do a little tutorial, I guess, on uh, how I'm balancing these props and also how I'm mounting them. Um, I had a real difficult time getting the screws to align. Let's make sure I'm in the line sight here. Come on, where are you? There you go. Little screws to align. Um, I stripped out the original props on one side. Luckily, there's two sides, but um, I'm thinking you could also always just drill a hole and re-thread it. Um, the screws actually screw into the plastic. They just key into the, the shaft. They don't actually screw into the metal shaft. They just slip into it. Um, so getting them aligned is important. Um, you'll strip out the you'll strip out the plastic of the blade. But anyway. Um, I am using the ball bearings, so hopefully, this is difficult because I don't have this thing aligned properly, um, slip the ball bearings on, let's get into some blade balancing, I don't know how well it would work with the, uh, the bushings. as um, it may not turn as easily is this an A or a B that's an A and I'm putting all new props on just because I got them you basically just kind of snug the prop on but you don't put it all the way on to balance it so you can push back and the gear disengages and she free spins now I do pull it away just a hair so it's not rubbing, but it caught the gear. So I gotta pull it out just a hair more. Get that bearing back in there. Come on, bearing. There we go. There we go. She free spins pretty well. Then you just spin it like that. Kind of wait for it to balance out. It actually looks balanced. This one might be a little heavy. And I just hold it up. Obviously this is dropping, so it's that's the heavy one. So I marked a light one. Now I'm using packaging tape. Because I find it's lighter, thinner. So it have, come on, of course now it's going to fight me. Um, it'll have less aerodynamic effect on the actual prop because there's less thickness to it than say scotch tape. Um, that wasn't very heavy. The weight wise is kind of a guess. I've actually been pretty lucky with it. But then you just stick a piece of tape on the light side. I always try and put it on the trailing edge area so it has the least amount of aerial, you know, aerodynamic effect on the prop. Rub it on really good and see what happens. And as you can see, I think I put too much, it's too heavy. Well, maybe not. And again, you know, it's not perfect. It's not like a real prop balancer. But you can get it pretty close. It definitely lowers the vibration. Um, someone did a, you know, mentioned it. He actually pulled these off, the rubbers off, and balanced it with a regular prop balancer, which I guess you can do. You got to drill out the holes, and it's just too much. Um... He noticed that the A props seem to be the ones out of balance, and I'm kind of noticing the same thing. They're the ones with the most out of balance. The Bs, I haven't had to balance anything. Honestly, this one was slightly out, and when I added the ink to it, it balanced it out. That's how little it needed was just the tip of ink from the permanent marker. rubbing on the frame here I 
and you just spin it around and see what happens. I think I'm going to pull a little bit of that tape off. And that's all there is to it. Now, I'm going to snip just a little bit off of this. I can get it up. Again, I like that the packaging tape because it's so much thinner, which means it's also much finer weight distribution. Come on, let go of me. I'll just snip off a little piece I curled up, push it back down, get it off my fingers because it's sticky. Seems to be all right. Yeah, that looks pretty good. I mean, it's not again that you're not going to get it perfect this way, but you can definitely get it better. Now, the next problem I've been having is setting the screws, and what I've learned. Let me stay in there. If I didn't want you to stay, you would. Is that I pre screw the screw in so I'm not fighting it. Everything is so small. I gotta probably go up here. I pre screw the screw. Threaded, and I'm not trying to fight the plastic and the uh, and I'm not even sure I'm using the right screws. There's nothing marked in these bags, which is kind of depressing for such a. I don't know. You'd think they'd at least have an indication on what screws go where, but they don't get it to bite. I've actually stripped a few of these. Screw it all the way in if it doesn't strip out. Back it back out. Then When I put it in, line everything up, I can actually stare at my TV here, line up the holes, which I don't know, you probably can't see it, but I can see the light through the hole. When I get the light where I kind of want it, I take a pin and I stick it through there and wobble it around and that centers it so when I put the screw back in there it should feed right through and I'm thinking they should really have a pointed screw and maybe some of those pointed screws are supposed to be for the props not these flat ones which actually would make more sense but it's what I've been using so it's what I'm going to continue to use and I barely snug it. When it stops, I stop. Give it a test. It's tight. Move on to the next one. Hope that helps everyone. I mean, we're all guessing here, so. <laughs>